Hey guys, how's it going? Joste here, back again with another video. And this time I'm playing The Last Guardian. Yes, I am playing The Last Guardian on my PlayStation 4 Pro, as you can see. So this game on the Pro offers some uh, better resolution features, uh, HDR. And I'm assuming that HDR is also offered on the regular PlayStation 4, uh, because it also supports HDR on the Pro. So, uh, I see that this game is very, very colorful. There are some areas that are very, very, very colorful. And I'll show you some settings that, I, that I'm using. Um, so, it'll make it a lot, a lot more colorful. As of right now, I'm, I'm, I actually switch everything to game mode. Thanks to uh, one of the subscribers to the channel, Ron John. Thanks to you, brother. Uh, send me some uh, settings that he has. And I'll show it to you right now. I'll show it to you real quick. Uh, so this is running on game mode. And what, what he did is that he changed some of this color tone. So the backlight is all the way to 20. Brightness 30. Contrast. I'm actually adding some sharpness. It does, you know what? Actually, uh, I noticed that sharpness from the TV, it does help to the game to look a little bit better. You know, it, it does help. So I'm adding sharpness to it. It's just my taste. In the color, this is, uh, this is what makes a uh, major difference right now, I notice. So on the color is usually, you know, in the 50s. It's usually in between. So you see how it gets a little bit pale. So let's add some, some warm to it, some color. So I'm running on 70 and now on the color right here. And I like it. I like it like that. So the rest of these settings are... This one's color tone. Um, I'm always on warm one. I like it. And this is standard and this is cold. But I like it one warm. It's up to you. So let me just go back here real quick. And I'll show you some of the settings. I don't know if you guys are playing this game. And if you if you are, how do you like this game? You know, there, I noticed there's some... Uh, people who do like it and some people who hate it <laughs> you know what I gotta tell you in my opinion I I like the story you know it's it's something that I, I want to man I want to be able to to finish you know but the thing is the controllers of this game are so so awkward like ugh, this this guy is not, they're not responsive. I don't know why, is it just me or, I just feel like it's so, so frustrating to control this kid. See, I don't even know what to do here. I'm assuming I'm gonna use these barrels to, with Trico, Trico. But uh, anyways, uh, I'm not here to show you the gameplay of this. Oh man, I missed the chain. Okay, <laughs> nothing happened to it. I'm here to show you the display of this game, right? Look at this. Uh, there are some scenes that are very, very nice. Look how colorful this scene is right here. It's very, very nice. It's beautiful. Trico should be here somewhere. Hey, you fell. Oh, how's it going? How's it going, Trico? Stay there. Stay there, little boy. Yeah. Also, this game offers HDR, and I'll show you right here. So, you go to Options, and the Screen. So, I have HDR all the way, right? See how bright it is? really bright, actually. So, you can adjust it all the way down. It gets, it gets dim. You notice, you can notice right away. You see, it gets super, super dim. So let's adjust it all the way back. I like I like bright games. There you go. Yeah, it's really bright. Alright, so maybe you know this is something that I, I another thing I don't like about this game is with this guy, you can either sneak or run. You don't walk like Right now, I think he's even walking normal. But the only way to walk is just to be carrying something like this. 
Ah, man, I don't even know what to do with this barrel. But maybe I have to uh, give it to Trico. Trico, you want this? Oh, wait a minute. Why did I pull out my shield? Can I take it somewhere here? Oh, yeah, I can. So, I don't know, guys. What do you guys think about this? Holy... Oh, I didn't even know he was going to do that. I thought he was afraid of water. What do you guys think about this game? This is true. It looks very nice on this TV. It looks... Uh, well, just in case you already know, I'm I am running this game on a Samsung KU 6300 series. Okay. What is he gonna do? Okay, I don't even know what he's going to do. Um. Yeah, this game looks beautiful here on this TV, and I know that uh, there are some other you know better displays out there, like the KS. 8000 series which probably looks a lot a lot better but if you happen to have one of these TVs the Samsung K KU 6300 man check out this, uh, this you know the settings that I just show you right now if you're planning to use game mode we can also use let me you know what let me try using some a uh, different uh, picture mode but I think game mode this with this settings looks looks very very nice so let me turn this off. Yeah, looks nice too. So I don't even know what, what I'm running. So this is natural. All right, so this is natural picture mode. And I'll show you the settings that I have, which are almost the same, except just the color. It's down to 52 instead of 70. You know, everything else remains pretty much the same. A native color space native that's it the difference is that if you run your games on game mode it's going to have the lowest input lag ever so if you're interested in that and having a great picture just run the settings that I just show you right now and you can have a low input lag and also you know have great uh, bright settings there. man I don't I'm so lost I'm not used to this uh, this game, guys. I just started playing it, as as you can see. Oh man, this little kid has so, so I have some problems with the controllers. It's just like not the same. Climb. It says climb. Press. Man, why are you tripping everywhere? <laughs> Fuck. Okay, so. Oh, shoot. No. If I point this to somewhere, Trico has this lightning power. Let me see if I can show you guys right now. It's pretty crazy. So let's say I want to use this. You see? I mean, it just burns everything. And boom. You know, I've been playing a lot of uh, Dead Rising 4 on my Xbox. And... Um, I'll show you a video next to see so you guys can see how it looks. The game is fantastic. I just I just beat the whole game already. It took me about 16 hours to beat the game. And man, it's so much fun. The game is so much fun. I don't know if I want to spoil it. No, you know what? I'm not going to spoil the, the the ending of the game, but I can tell you it's a lot of fun. You can also play in multiplayer. Co-op there there's some co-op missions and trust me that game is a lot of fun so if you have an xbox one s go ahead and you should go and try that uh, dead rising is worth it all right guys so this is it running on the uh, playstation 4 pro the game looks very very nice the only thing is just like the controllers suck so i don't know if you're going to enjoy this game that much but there's a i know there's a lot of hardcore uh gamers that like this game I, I think my favorite one from this series is uh, Shadow of the Colossus. Man, that game was so good. But well, I just wanted to show you guys this gameplay. And 
uh, hopefully I'll figure it out how to climb this mountain, which looks very, very hard. Because I don't, this guy is not responding. Maybe there's something over there. I don't know. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll be seeing you guys soon, and I wish you the best, best Christmas. And uh, I'll see you guys uh, next year. It's gonna be fantastic. Thanks, guys. Just are out.